Well, hello again everyone, uh, this is the update for the Revell Datsun 240Z that I've been working on. Uh, it's slow going, but uh, uh, I'll show you what I've done so far uh, up to this point. Um, basically, we've got the uh, engine as well as the uh, front and rear suspension uh, installed, as well as the uh, muffler. Um, and the fuel tank. Um, as I've been building this uh, up, uh, there have been a few uh, fit issues, but uh, we uh, went ahead and took care of it by modifying some certain parts and tweaking it a little bit. Um, primarily, one of the uh, main uh, issues was the uh, fan that fits on the front part of the engine. The actually points that go into the front of the engine was too long on the back end of the fan so I had to kind of snip that off so it fit flush otherwise I wouldn't be able to get this um, air conditioned radiator uh, put in place um, so like I said I have to kind of actually uh, think two three steps ahead uh, each time I'm trying to uh, place a part uh, getting ready to glue it uh, otherwise uh, you know I could be caught uh, uh, with having to tear everything back apart because uh, a certain item doesn't fit quite right. So, uh, uh, like I said, a lot of dry fitting, a lot of uh, trimming of flash uh, on a lot of these parts when I'm taking it off the sprues and a lot of cleanup work. But, uh, like I said, this is where we're at right now. Um, as you can see, uh, I, I painted the air cleaner uh, red. Uh, just kind of give a little contrast there and as far as the engine block itself um, we use some gloss blue acrylic paint from Craftsmart uh, the actual air cleaner is the folk art engine red uh, that I applied on there and of course you know after I get everything done here I, I do uh, uh, go ahead and coat it with some future uh, you know floor cleaner the, the floor wax cleaner just to seal in all the acrylic paint so it doesn't chip off uh, afterwards with all the handling I'm doing um, <clears throat> pretty much the whole entire interior of the car the chassis and the interior bucket dashboard all that kind of stuff uh, is basically calling for uh, black uh, usually satin black and gloss black um, as you can tell uh, the uh, chassis itself uh, uh, is satin black uh, and the air conditioned uh, radiator uh, I kind of painted as a gloss black just to kind of give a little contrast in color and uh, so this is basically where we're at right now um, in the build as far as where we're at at this point um, kind of set that one off to the side uh, <coughs> A couple other things here. Uh, I did go ahead and glue some of the seats together. Uh, if you recall, the, these seats are actually uh, three parts. Uh, you have a backing, uh, and then you have the front, and then you have the, uh, the seat itself where you sit in. Uh, so I had to glue all three of those parts together, and uh, I basically just took some... Uh, you know the sponge uh, nail sponge nail uh, file uh, this is actually 400 grit and I basically just kind of sanded the uh, the seams uh, down to where it's nice and smooth so I just kind of took my time with that before I paint these uh, you know the seats are going to be painted uh, black as well satin black and uh, like I said with the dashboard and the uh, in the whole interior bucket so uh, but anyways, that's kind of where we're at right now with this build. So uh, uh, we'll uh, get with you in a little bit later on here. And okay, and we're back. Um, I went ahead and uh, did a lot of uh, touch-up work uh, as far as hand painting uh, to uh, try and finish this stage of the uh, work in progress. And... Uh, I also this morning uh, took care of uh, actually start using my airbrush, uh, have a pache that I used uh, to actually start spraying some of the black paint down um, on the interior uh, 
upper part of the uh, chassis as well as the console and the uh, wheel wells um, so that's done and uh, as we turn it over here uh, I also uh, went ahead and dirtied up uh, the rest of the uh, you know transmission and the uh, exhaust and everything using uh, just thinning it down with some wash um, just to kind of uh, look like uh, it's been uh, you know, not a brand new uh, showroom type of situation, but more of a dirty uh, look to it. Uh, since this is a, I want to make this car like a working car. Um, I had one little issue here uh, in the back. Uh, kind of bring this in. Hopefully, I can keep it in focus. Uh, but when I was installing the exhaust system here, uh, as far as the directions, it basically doesn't tell you where to position it. Uh, so I just kind of basically laid it down uh, where where I thought it needed to go. Uh, there is no uh, brackets or any kind of uh, indentations to tell you where to put them. So I actually just had it kind of laid on top of the uh, A-frame part here and uh, the end return on this end. Uh, and I actually glued it with some CA glue, um, which kind of melted the plastic a little bit. but. I kind of trimmed it up a little bit, but it's it's in place now because the thing kept on trying to pop up off the A-frame uh, previously. So uh, we got that resolved. So other than that, uh, uh, for right now, uh, the whole uh, underside of the uh, chassis now is uh, uh, brushed on with some Future to seal in all the acrylic paint. So that is good to go. And... Uh, I also uh, changed the color scheme on the um, air filter. It used to be the engine red from Folk Art, and I actually changed it over to the holiday red for Craftsmart to kind of give it a brighter uh, look to it, so it kind of pops out a little bit better. Uh, you know, once again, the actual uh, engine block itself is the uh, Craftsmart uh, blue gloss. And uh, once again, the whole engine, fan, everything is now all sealed and ready to go with, uh, with the future pledge. So uh, I'll set that off to the side. And uh, what I also did too is uh, went ahead and sprayed uh, my seats down uh, since uh, I let them sit overnight, um, you know, uh, curing. And so now we have a nice, uh, let me see if I can bring the light in a little bit more here. But uh, yeah, we have a nice little satin black uh, look to the uh, two driver seats, two bucket seats. And so that is done. And uh, then we'll go over here. We also went ahead and uh, airbrushed on the uh, satin black for the firewall. Um, yeah, just having trouble with my lights here. Uh, but I installed, went ahead and installed the pedals um, you know, and uh, on the back side. Uh, facing the engine uh, compartment is the uh, battery, which I uh, actually uh, hand brushed some gloss black on that to kind of give a variation on tone. And then uh, as far as the brake master cylinder, we went ahead and painted that silver uh, per, per the instructions. So that is done. And uh, other little tidbits, I went ahead and uh, hand brushed the... Uh, parking brake. Uh, so I gave that a uh, semi-gloss uh, or, or actually a gloss coat of uh, black for the handle itself and then on the back side there uh, kind of gave it a satin black with the uh, kind of a silver color uh, in between. So that is done. And uh, as far as the door panels, we'll kind of bring that in here. Uh, we went ahead and uh, airbrushed that on with some satin black and the dashboard itself get that a closer there. Uh, we went ahead and painted the main dashboard satin black and then the uh, actual speedometer altimeter um, and uh, the rest of the console we painted it the, the gloss black so that is done and uh, decals will follow afterwards once I get this all sealed and everything with the future. Uh, I also went ahead and hand brushed in the uh, steering column. 
So that is done, ready to go. And of course, then we have the uh, gear shift. I went ahead and uh, actually painted the knob of the gear shift uh, in brown to get, kind of give like a wood handle look to it. So that is now done. And uh, last but not least, we have the uh, steering wheel. Uh, once again, uh, part of the steering wheel is going to be in the black gloss. And the um, steering wheel itself is uh, wood, so I kind of gave it a brown color, uh, light brown color for right now. And letting that all dry and set up. And uh, so that's where we're at right now in the stage of the uh, building this 240Z uh, Datsun car. Um, and uh, until next time, we'll, we'll catch you later. I hope you're uh, enjoying part of this video and thank you for watching and subscribing and uh, we'll catch you on the next uh, next update till then have a nice day